Hi everyone, this is Kevin with Garrison Dental Solutions. And usually, all you see of me are these, because we're talking about tiny little wedges, tiny little matrix bands and rings for class two composites, because of course that's what Garrison is really known for. But, I've got a big box here today. Something brand new. This is the Loop LED curing light from Garrison. We've been working on this for, oh, long about seven years now. And it, we're finally ready to introduce it to everybody. And this is not a fancy flashlight. This is, a, is an actual curing device tool that has some remarkable first to market, never been seen before technology. And I'm gonna show you about it right now. All right, let's take a look inside the box here. Of course, we've got quick start guide, instructions. We've got a certificate of calibration. But here, let's get down to business. We have the wand. And we have a charging slash calibration base. Aha, calibration. We'll get to that in just a second. All right, we got some other goodies in here. Looks like we've got a light shield. We've got adapters for your power source. There's a power source. What's here? Oh, we've got a cleaning cloth. I'm gonna leave that in there for right now so I don't misplace it. And we have barrier shields. Okay, let's send all that stuff off to the side. Let me get out and hook up your charging base. The unit ships in a locked status, and so that's why I've got to quickly pop this into the charging base, because that action Putting it into the charging base takes the lock mode off. Let's go ahead and hook this up so that we can take it out of lock mode. Go. On here. Oh, okay. yeah. So, again, when it's in lock mode, it just shows a little lock symbol on the screen it's not going to do anything and the reason it's shipped that way is just so that if it's jostled during shipment it doesn't accidentally turn on or anything like that so we pop it into our charging base and it should there we go get itself ready to go so i mentioned earlier that loop is not just a fancy flashlight like pretty much all other curing lights on the market. We're gonna take a really close look in a few minutes. Now, the tagline for this product, Loop LED Curing Light from Garrison Dell Solutions, is confidence in every cure. And how can we deliver confidence? How can we deliver on that brand promise with Loop? Well, Loop is radically different than a typical curing light. A typical curing light is pretty much a fancy flashlight. It's got an on off button. You set how much power, how much time you want, and it just sits there and zaps that power out. And doesn't matter if you're holding the device properly, if you're on the tooth or over the tongue, it doesn't care. It just runs that cycle. Well, loop, the closed loop part of this is, and again, you can't see this right here. We'll show you close up, but right here in the lens, there is a tiny, tiny little hair thin fiber optic capillary that feeds information to a little microprocessor in here and 500 times a second loop adjusts the power output so right now this is set at 1000 milliwatts per square centimeter for 20 seconds well every other curing light out there you turn it on and it just pumps out its thousand milliwatts for 20 seconds regardless of what you do loop when you start it up it reads how much energy is being reflected from the surface and adjusts the power output up or down depending on how close you are to the two so that it consistently at the tooth surface delivers that thousand milliwatts per square centimeter. So if I'm a couple millimeters away with a traditional light, you know what the research shows, 
If you're a couple millimeters away, you're cutting the power output or the power delivered to the tooth by as much as 50, 60, 70% if you're just too far away. Here, we deliver the full dose regardless of whether we're right on the tooth or a couple millimeters off. And we're gonna take a look at that here in a second. One of the other things, how we can deliver confidence in the curing cycles, as you heard me mention it earlier, the base has built-in calibration. So every single time that you set loop back in the charging base on a standard everyday calibration, it runs this cycle. So let's see what happens. Put it in there, you see it flashing a little bit, it's reading the light and it says, hey, we're good to go. We're ready to rock. Monthly, or when the system recommends it, because it will actually recommend that you do a full calibration cycle, you extend the base. So that puts the second port in line with the lens. You pop loop in there and it runs a full calibration cycle. Boom, it's ready to go. Now, what does that do? It doesn't just tell you, hey, there's a problem. It adjusts the device itself. So over time, as LED diodes, as those things age, they produce less output. As the batteries age, they produce less output. Loop adjusts by itself for those types of issues. And if you, if let's say you get the lens dirty. So let's see what happens now when I put it down. Thinks about it for a minute. Oh, a dirty lens check. And look, we've got a big splotch that says our lens is dirty, it needs to be cleaned. So let's do that a minute. And I've got the loop, curing light lens cloth here. Of course, if you're using a barrier sleeve, and loop does come with barrier sleeves, that's highly recommended because not only does it prevent soft deposits, but it's also an added layer of protection against scratching the lens. I'm doing any kind of bonding compositor or bonding agent to the lens itself, so that looks pretty good. Let's pop it back in the charging base, see if we did a good enough job. Ready to go, ready for my next curing cycle. Those couple of steps which happen automatically, which is a wonderful thing, unless you've got some kind of master checklist in your office and your assistants or staff are extremely diligent about following that checklist, you're probably not checking your lights as frequently as you should. So every single time you set loop back in the charging base, it does that check to make sure it's ready to go for your very next use. So confidence in every cure. Let's talk about what happens when we put it on a tooth. So see these two arrows right here? That just indicates that the head is aligned with the body. This turns, you can turn it uh, you know, basically upside down. So if you were, let's say you had a patient's head here and you were curing an upper, you can turn that around. You can still see your display just so you know everything that's taking place and still get that light directly where you need it to. So it does swivel almost 360 degrees so that you can get the lens exactly where you need it to be. So let's pop this guy back on here. And what I'm gonna do is right now, this is set to a standard curing cycle. By standard, I mean that the closed loop functionality is not turned on. This is going to output 1000 milliwatts per square centimeter for 20 seconds. Regardless, I could be pointing it at the wall. The light does not care at this point. I'm gonna hold this button. There we go. And now you can see there's a little couple of arrows going round and round. Now it's in closed loop mode. And now it's gonna do something really fun. I'm gonna turn it off. And look, it's just beeping. It's not turning on. I hold it over the tooth, ta-da, it turns on. I slide off the tooth. It's, it flashes, tells me I, I went too far away and I held it off for too long so it stopped the cure. So you know you didn't deliver the amount of energy that you needed to. Let me do this again. I get close, I'm curing, it's doing its thing. I see a bar going across the screen that shows me how much time is remaining. I see a graph that indicating how much light energy is being output. And I can, the graph is kind of moving up and down as my hand wiggles a little bit. And now I'm getting closer. And there's our 20 seconds. So confidence in every cure because you know you're delivering the appropriate amount of energy for that particular curing cycle. Now, the question comes up, I know what you're thinking, right? 
said, well, if I'm worried about it, why don't I just hit the carrying cycle again and do it again, right? That's, that's the only option you have right now is repeated carrying cycles. Well, a couple things, a couple issues with that that we know, you know, research shows, and there's there's studies out there that show this, that you can actually over cure composite and you can make it more brittle than it would normally be. Additionally, you are generating heat. The LED lights are much cooler than old school technology. However, it does generate heat. And if you're repeatedly curing that same spot, you are going to heat the tooth and hopefully not too far, but definitely will heat it up. And then there's the time. Efficiency is incredibly important in today's dental practices. And if you're sitting there for an extra 20, 40, 60 seconds monkeying around because you're not sure that you delivered the appropriate amount of energy, you are wasting valuable chair time. It's kind of dummy proof, right? It's an actual tool, a device for curing and not just a fancy flashlight.